Louisiana Beer Reviews, <clears throat> Lazy Magnolias Sweet Potato Stout. This is the 2018 variant. Uh, they've changed it a little bit. Today it's 4.5% alcohol with 12 international bitterness units. Back when I tried it um, in 2013, six years ago, it was 4.65 and 22 IBUs. So, and it was called Jefferson Sweet Potato Stout. Then they changed it to Jeff's. Jeff Stout, well, now it's just Lazy Magnolia Sweet Potato Stout, brewed with sweet potatoes and lactose. Uh, and it's bottled on, I guess this little notch is November of 2018, so it's long in the tooth. Um, all right, um, November. 21st 2018 well it does have the date guys uh, bought this at Winn-Dixie as part of the make your own six pack for 1099 if you think the store is going to check the dates you're going to be wrong about that uh, Matherns does though now this bottle is clearly stating 15 international bitterness units whereas the website says 12 and I have to update my Tecate Michelada Diablo because the website says it's 4.5, but the can I checked yesterday is 4.1. Saying 4.1. Okay, um, the ingredients for the sweet potato stout is, are, are as follows the malts Turo, Munchen, Crystal, Chocolate, Black, they have black barley, and roasted barley. The hops are nugget hops. It gets a good score on Beer Advocate. I checked for the updated. Um, version 71 out of 100 rape beer still got them all mixed together the two recipes 66 out of 100 45 out of 100 in the style but like I said they got them both mixed so um, and it's not a real drastic change anyway in a 69 out of 100 on, on 100 on untapped so this is the first time I'm trying this new uh, version I'm glad I bought it still hissing pretty good being that it's um nine months old <clears throat> so a very light really a light stout from Kiln Mississippi it would be a thicker a tan head, beige head if it was in a narrow or brim glass. Kind of a Coca-Cola look with all these bubbles and the glass is not dirty. Um, dark brown, looks almost black in a way. You can probably hear that fizz. Okay. Um, Not too aromatic, really. Uh, dark roasted malts, a little bit of that milk and cream. What about sweet potatoes? Uh, if I didn't know about that, I wouldn't be remarking on it, okay? I don't, I'm not picking that up in the nose. Pretty dark roasted. Not burnt. Close, but not burnt. A little bit of chalky undertaste, though. It's a bit strange. The carbonation's a little odd. Um, oh, I guess there's some sweet potato, sweet potato in the taste. But like I said, if I didn't, like I'm saying, if I didn't know it was there because of the label and the description on the website, oh, I, uh, I don't think I'd be remarking about it. little cream, little milk, you know, cream, coffee, dark malts. There may be some vegetable character here. Light to medium body and a medium dry finish. Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, I can't remember what I scored it six years ago. I was looking at my score, but I didn't. I was looking at when I had posted it. That's what I was looking at for the date. 
April 2013. But I, I didn't bother looking at what I scored it, actually. Which is probably good, but this is a new new one anyway. An updated version. The chalky, the chalkiness to me is a flaw. Um, I don't think beers should have that. We did the Loop Garou, really strong stout, eight percent. Well, not real strong, but eight percent um, from Louisiana. We, my friend David was noticing a, a chalkiness. I didn't really pick that up, but here it's clearly present. And I don't think that helps it um, at all. I guess it's all right. It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. It's just so-so. It's all right. Um, I'll give it a C. A 75 out of 100. It's an all right beer. But um, that's as good as I can do with it. I'm sorry, but that's it. That's the way it goes sometimes. So... No knock against Mississippi. <laughs> um, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching this video production. Oh, the carbonation is pretty strong here. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.